friends, in order to program the logic of a smart app, you first need to check if the IR sensor can detect the presence of a hand or an object. If so, the water should flow from the tap. If not, the tap should remain dry. To do that, we need to call the event handler that will check the status of the IR sensor. Can you guess which event handler we will use? Yes, of course, the when IR sensor one dot on change event. Now we need to give a task to this event to check if the IR sensor value is true or false. To check this condition, we need to drag and drop if then else condition into the event. To the if statement, we first compare the IR sensor value is equal to true by calling the procedure call IR sensor one dot get IR value and compare it to the logic true if they are equal. If this condition is satisfied, then you need to call the procedure call pump motor dot pump start and enter the value of the speed at which you want the pump motor to pump water. The maximum speed that can be given is 255 and the direction can be either true or false because the motor can pump the water only in the forward direction. If the condition is not satisfied, then the pump motor should be turned off. To do that in else condition, add the procedure call pump motor dot pump start and enter the value of the speed as zero and direction can be anything. Now your application is ready to work. But wait, how would you get to know if the IR sensor is detecting the presence of a hand or not? It wouldn't be displayed on the screen. Well, to solve this problem, we'll use a label which will display the value of the IR sensor. So before you check the status of the IR sensor, you drag and drop set IR status dot text to call IR sensor one dot get IR value. This will get the value of the IR sensor and will display it on the label. And finally, there is our super duper smart tab.